Well, hello, and welcome to 181 Days. That's right, I've kind of rebranded as YouTube's given us new handles and I'm no longer in Belgium. So in this video, we're going to Saratoga Springs, New York, and we're gonna look at the springs that make the town so famous. Come along. One really cool thing about all the springs in Saratoga Springs is that you can actually drink any of them, but the taste varies. This is Congress Spring in the middle of Congress Park in Saratoga Springs, New York. Congress Spring was discovered in 1792 by Nicholas Gilman, a member of the Congress. It was tubed by Gideon Putnam, who was an early developer in Saratoga Springs. Dr. John Clark purchased the spring in 1826, bottled the water, and shipped it throughout the world. You may be familiar with the blue bottles of carbonated water that you can see in basically anywhere in the world when you're looking for seltzer water. The Greek pavilion is a replica of the mid-19th century original. This is Columbian Spring, discovered in 1803 also by Gideon Putnam while clearing land around Congress Park. It was purchased by John Clark in 1823. He constructed a Grecian pavilion over it in 1840 and the city reproduced it in 1981. Presently, the water in this spring flows from Lewberry Lake, the city's water supply, and it's completely drinkable. This is the Hathorne Spring, discovered in 1866 by a workman named Samuel Freeburn while digging an excavation for Congress Hall, and named after Henry H. Hathorne, owner of the Congress Hotel. The Congress Hotel was a monumental hotel on Broadway in Saratoga Springs. This is a highly carbonated water of alkaline saline flavor, noted for its high mineral content and renowned as a digestive curative. I've tasted this one, and it doesn't taste great. Now we're gonna check out some of the springs in Saratoga Spa State Park, which is an expansive state park right on the outskirts of downtown Saratoga Springs. This is one of the first springs you encounter in Saratoga Spa State Park. It's called Hayes Spring, and I actually tasted it after taking this video, and I spit it right back out. It's not very tasty, but you have to taste all these when you're there. On the way into the park, there's actually a fresh water spring that you can fill water bottles up. And there were people from the city filling up big water bottles for their homes. Probably one of the most notable springs in Saratoga Springs is this naturally carbonated island spouter in Saratoga Spa State Park. You can see that it pops right out of this little island and you can see the dome of sediment built up over time from the mineral deposits. As you continue down the path from the island spouter, you'll find a large mineral deposit from Orenda Spring. You can actually walk right up to this, see the water flowing off of it, and touch it. You could taste it if you want, but above this is the actual spring where you can take a drink if you'd like. I also tasted this one. It also wasn't very good, if you're noticing a theme. Finally, we have Carista Spring. Carista is the Iroquois word for iron, and you may notice all the red deposits in the basin of this spring. Carista Spring is actually the most iron-rich water in the world, and when Saratoga Spa State Park was a popular place for medicinal treatments and baths, the mud of Carista Springs actually became highly in demand for the iron content to treat arthritis.
Lastly, here are some of the buildings at Saratoga Spa State Park where the baths and pools are housed. Some of these are still used and you can still go get baths and go to the pools. Some of these contain visitor centers and meeting rooms and it's generally just a really cool place to hang out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this.